subscribe to tech me spot channel and press the bell icon and never miss another update hi guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to install linux mint 19.1 cinnamon on virtualbox okay so first of all we need to download the iso file of linux mint 19.1 cinnamon so for that just open your web browser and go to google.com and just do a search for download linux mint and here we have the first link download linux mint from linuxmint.com so click on this link and here we have the download linux mint 19.1 tessa okay so you need to scroll down and here we have the download links okay for cinnamon for mate and for xfce okay so we are gonna install cinnamon 64 bit so uh, you need to click on this 64 bit okay and here we have the linux mint 19.1 tessa cinnamon 64 bit okay so after that you need to scroll down and here we have the download mirrors okay so uh, just you know select the place nearer to you okay so here we have the location and mirror so you need to find the place nearer to you okay so suppose if i want to uh, download from this location iceland i need to click on this link and suppose if i want to download from this ireland location i need to click on this link okay so let me click on this link and you can see guys here we have the iso file so you, you need to uh, select the place where you want to download this iso file so suppose if i want to download on desktop i need to click on this to select it and after that i need to click on this save button okay so just click on this save button and you can see guys the file is now started downloading okay but i already downloaded this file so i need to cancel this so let me go to my desktop uh, linux mint you can see guys i already uh, downloaded this iso file of linux mint 19.1 cinnamon okay so after downloading what you need to do uh, you, you need to open your virtual box and after that you need to click on this new okay and here we have the create virtual machine name and operating system okay so i am uh, you need to give the name so i am giving this name linux uh, mint uh, 19.1 cinnamon you can give any name okay and here we have the folder and the type is linux and here we have the version because we don't have linux mint over here so you need to select this ubuntu 64 bit okay and after that click on this next button and guys here you can see uh, the recommended memory size is uh, 1024 megabytes we have to give memory size okay so you can just uh, give the memory size so i am giving 3328 megabytes and after that click on this next button uh, create a virtual hard disk now okay so click on this create button let it be default and here we have the hard disk file type so choose this vdi virtual box disk image and after that click on this next button and just select this uh, dynamic, dynamically allocated and then click on this next button and uh, a file location and size so let it be default and after that here we have the uh, size what you want to give so i want to give it 80 gb okay and after that click on this create button okay so the virtual machine is created you can see and let's do some settings so just select your virtual machine linux mint 19.1 cinnamon and after that click on this settings and here we have the general okay and here we have the basic like name type version it's fine click on this advanced and shared click clipboard here we have the disabled click on this click on this bi-directional drag and drop click on this by click on this disabled and then select this bi-directional okay and uh, after that just go to system and here you can see the base memory we already given you can change it 
from here if you like but it's fine to me and here we have the processor so just give the pro give the number of processor that you like so i'm gonna give it you know three processor okay and other things fine to me just go to display it's fine to me go to stories okay and after that you, here we have the uh, controller id this empty disk click on this and also guys here we have the network so uh, here we have the nat it's fine okay and after that click on this stories click on this empty this disk and here we have the little disk icon click on this and here we have the choose virtual optical disk file so you need to click on this and just browse to the folder where you have your Linux Mint 19.1 cinnamon 64 bit dot ISO file okay so I have on my you know desktop this Linux Mint folder here I have my ISO file you need to select that and then click on this open button okay so it's now selected and after that guys you need to click on this OK button it's saving settings and after that just select your virtual machine this Linux Mint 19.1 cinnamon and here we have the start button click on this and it will start installing Linux Mint 19.1 cinnamon okay so let me make it big you can see automatic boot in whatever the seconds left okay guys so here we have the Linux Mint okay and here we have the install Linux Mint okay this disk so you need to double click on this just close this and guys here you can see we have this install this window so just select your language so I'm selecting English and after that click on this continue button and keyboard layout so just select your keyboard layout from here so I'm selecting English US and here we have the English US and after that click on this uh, continue and here you can see preparing to install Linux Mint install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware flash mp3 and other media so just click on this to select it and then click on this continue button and here we have the uh, this computer currently has no detected operating system what would you like to do so just choose this erase disk and install Linux Mint it's fine and after that click on this install now button and here we have the write the changes to disks so click on this continue button okay and here we have where are you so you, you need to select the, your location so I'm selecting uh, this place and after that click on this continue button and here we have the who are you so just uh, give it your name okay so I'm giving uh, Linux Mint you can give any name that you like uh, your computer's name so it's fine to me Linux Mint pick a username so I'm giving Linux Mint you can give any username that you like okay uh, so choose a password so I'm typing the password and confirm your password and here we have the login automatically and requires my password to login so I'm selecting this require my password to login and after that click on this continue button and you can see guys it's installing so it will take time like 10 to 15 minutes so we need to wait okay guys so you can see the masses installation complete so uh, click on this restart now button uh, please remove the installation medium then press enter so just press enter key and guys here you can see here we have the login screen 
So just provide your password, hit enter and you can see guys we are logged in okay so let me click on this close and here we have the uh, welcome to Linux Mint here we have the documentation help contribute uh, various options okay so you can read that if you you are interested so let me click on this close button okay so after that uh, we need to do some things okay so first of all let's insert you know install you know guest additions cdmas so that uh, if we go to you know uh, this you know full screen mode you can see we have the black spaces around so first of all uh, we need to install you know guest additions cd image so uh, click on this view sorry uh, we need to click on this uh, devices and then insert guest additions cd image click on this okay and here we have the window click on this run button uh, provide your password click on this authenticate it's installing virtual box guest additions installation this window we have so we need to wait You can see guys we are in the full screen you can see please return to close this window so just hit enter key okay and you can eject this by clicking on this and uh, click on this right click after that and then click on this eject okay and if I go to you know view full screen mode switch button and you can see we have the full screen Linux Mint okay uh, we don't have any black you know spaces around this okay so it's now in full screen and we can do some uh, you know updates to this so just right click on the desktop and then click on this open in terminal okay and here we have the command we need to run sudo apt update and hit enter key on the keyboard so just provide your password we need to update these system repositories you can see it's doing that and also we need to run this command sudo apt upgrade hit enter or do we want to continue press y key on the keyboard for yes hit enter so it's upgrading the packages okay guys so the upgradation of packages has been done you can close this terminal okay and also guys here we have the Linux Mint start button if I click on it you can see here we have various applications okay you can just do a search for applications also from this search box so suppose if I do a search for Firefox web browser you can see here we have the Firefox web browser if I click on it to open it it's opened okay and suppose if I go to uh, this website google.com and you can see it's working fine so let me click on this close and also guys I want to show you one more thing so uh, let me minimize this okay so let me copy you know some text from my host operating system that is Windows 10 so uh, this is the text if I copy this and go to my you know this you know guest operating system that is Linux Mint and uh, let me open this text file and if I paste over here you can see it's not working okay so we need to restart our uh, Linux Mint so for this you need to click on this menu button and here we have the you know this shutdown okay click on this and here we have the uh, shutdown this system now here we have this shutdown button cancel restart okay and suspend you need to click on this restart button I'm clicking on this so it's restarting so it's now restarted we are now at the login screen so just provide your password hit enter and we are now logged in okay so let me click on this close 
Okay, and let's copy, you know, some text from my, you know, host operating system that is Windows 10. Copy this and let's go to a Linux Mint and let's paste in this text file. And you can see guys, it's working fine. Okay. And also let me type something in this file in my, you know, guest operating system that is Linux Mint. Okay, and we will copy that and paste in my host operating system that is Windows 10. Okay, so let's see if that works or not. So let me type something over here. This is my Linux Mint. Okay, so let me copy this. And let's go to my, you know, host operating system that is Windows 10 and let me paste that. You can see guys, it's working fine. Okay, so, you know, this feature let me go to settings general advanced shared clipboard is working fine and let's see if you know this drag and drop working fine or not okay so let me close this okay so let me create one file new text document let me open this file let me type something this is test file uh, let me close this save button okay let's go to Linux Mint okay so first of all let me minimize this okay so uh, this is my text document and we will drag and drop uh, this you know text document from my host operating system that is Windows 10 to my guest operating system that is Linux Mint okay so let me drag and drop this and you can see guys the feature is working fine okay so guys that's it in this way you can easily install Linux Mint 19.1 cinnamon on VirtualBox and configure it so that's it thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye